guys how are you i hope you are all doing well this is somshekar kalepalli welcome to dharmal wing youtube channel this is meta video lecture on heat transfer course last class i explained about conduction mode of heat transfer conduction mode of heat transfer occurs in solids pure conduction can take place in solids only it is a molecular activity of atoms or molecules in this class i will explain about convective heat transfer convective heat transfer occur in fluids only convective heat transfer means if heat transfer from a solid medium to the fluid medium fluid medium may be liquid or gas that is in motion if two different fluids at different temperatures are mixed together the heat transfer between the two fluids by means of convective mode of heat transfer in natural convective heat transfer there is no external fluid flow heat transfer from a solid body to the adjacent fluid due to the difference in densities of hot and cold fluid particles convective mode of heat transfer can be explained in detail modes of heat transfer is classified into three types conduction convection and radiation convective heat transfer is a macroscopic phenomena in convective heat transfer heat is transferred from a solid surface to the adjacent fluid that fluid may be a liquid or gas that is in motion mechanism of convective heat transfer is to bulk motion of fluid particles this is the mechanism of convective heat transfer convection heat transfer is a combined effect of conduction plus fluid motion convective heat transfer can be classified into two types that is natural or free convective heat transfer next one forced convective heat transfer natural convective heat transfer is explained with an example of heating of water it is a one copper vessel it is filled with cold water initially copper vessel and cold water is at room temperature 30 degree celsius next this copper vessel is heated with a heat source whenever heat energy is received by this copper vessel it is a metal vessel heat transfer through this copper vessel by means of conduction whenever this copper vessel receives heat its temperature will rises and the heat is transferred from this copper vessel to the immediate layer adjacent to the vessel observe this sketch copper vessel adjacent fluid layer whenever this copper rod receives heat and its temperature rises heat transfer from this copper vessel solid surface to the immediate fluid layer adjacent to the copper vessel this fluid layer receives heat by means of conduction heat transfer reason is to initially there is no fluid motion that's why heat is transferred from the solid surface to the immediate fluid layer by means of conduction only whenever this adjacent fluid layer receives heat by means of conduction heat transfer its density becomes less and reaches top of the vessel here high density fluid particles reaches bottom of the vessel by means of gravity again receives heat from the vessel and its density becomes less and lifted rises to the top of the vessel again here high density particles reaches downwards here water is lifted up to the top of the vessel by means of buoyancy force buoyancy force is the upward force buoyancy force induced due to difference in densities of hot and cold fluid particles by means of temperature difference buoyancy force is the upward force it is caused due to the difference in densities of hot and cold fluid particles in this way entire water is heated up by means of convective heat transfer here fluid circulation by means of convection currents 
observe the graphical image of the natural circulation by convection currents conclusion of the natural convective heat transfer copper vessel is a solid surface heat transfer from solid surface to the adjacent water layer by means of conduction heat transfer adjacent water layer to the entire water is heated up by means of convective heat transfer that is the mechanism of convective heat transfer is to bulk motion of fluid particles fluid motion is more heat transfer rate is more application of natural convective heat transfer generally natural convective heat transfer applications are where cooling or heating is required cooling of transformer example observe the three dimensional view of a electrical transformer electrical transformer consists of transformer tank and a transformer radiator it consists of cooling tubes transformer tank consists of electrical windings and transformer core the objective of the cooling of transformer is to maintain optimum operating temperature inside the transformer generally optimum temperature 50 to 60 degrees celsius normal load conditions based on outside ambient temperature observe this two dimensional sketch of the electrical transformer transformer cooling consists of internal cooling and external cooling in internal cooling during the operation of the electrical transformer heat will be generated at the transformer core the transformer function is to increase or decrease the alternating current voltage during the operation of the transformer high heat will be generated at the transformer core the generated heat is transferred to the surrounding transformer oil due to the temperature difference between the transformer core and windings and transformer oil heat will be transferred from the transformer core and windings to the surrounding transformer oil heat dissipated transformer core to the transformer oil this is about internal cooling in internal cooling heat is transferred from the transformer core to the transformer oil by means of natural convection external cooling of transformer in external cooling of transformer heat is transferred from the transformer oil to the atmospheric air due to temperature difference whenever the transformer oil receives heat from the transformer core and windings its temperature will rises but high temperature transformer oil will be enters into the radiator of the transformer this transformer radiator consists of radiator tubes and the top header pipe lower header pipe high temperature transformer oil enters into the radiator of the transformer via top header pipe and again enters into the transformer via lower header pipe during the circulation of transformer oil inside the radiator tubes heat transfer will be takes place in between the transformer oil and atmospheric air by means of natural convective mode of heat transfer the transformer oil dissipates its heat to the surrounding atmospheric air whenever the surrounding air contact with the transformer cooling tubes heat will be transferred in between transformer oil and the surrounding air surrounding air receives heat from the transformer oil transformer oil loses its heat to the surrounding air in this way external cooling is provided in order to maintain optimum temperature at the transformer initially heat is transferred from the transformer core to the transformer oil transformer oil to the atmospheric air this is about cooling of transformers that's why this type of transformers are known as o n a n type of transformers o stands for mineral oil nothing but transformer oil this is the cooling medium in internal cooling circulation mechanism is natural convection next external cooling cooling medium is air mode of heat transfer is natural convection this is about external cooling observe the graphical image of the natural convection in transformer forced convective heat transfer forced convective heat transfer is to be explained with the help of simple example cooling of a copper plate 
This is a one co hot copper plate. Its temperature is 70 degrees Celsius initially. This hot copper plate is cooled with the help of rotating fan. Whenever this rotating fan rotated at high speed, it discharges air. Whenever this fan rotates, air is flows over the hot copper plate. This hot copper plate discharges heat, heat to the flowing air. Copper plate temperature decreases. Flowing air receives heat and its temperature increases. In this way, heat is transferred from hot copper plate to the flowing air. This is about forced convert to heat transfer. In forced convert to heat transfer, rate of heat transfer is more when compared to free convert to heat transfer. Reason is in forced convert to heat transfer, external agency, pump, fan, or blower is used. Application of forced convert to heat transfer. Generally, forced convective heat transfer applications are where cooling or heating is required. Forced convective heat transfer associated with fluid flow initially that is absent in natural mode of convective heat transfer. Cooling of internal combustion engines. In internal combustion engines, it is a multi-cylinder internal combustion engine. Generally, four-wheelers are multi-cylinder engines. It consists of engine cylinder, piston. This piston is reciprocated inside the engine cylinder. These are the cooling water jackets around the engine cylinders. This is the engine radiator. This radiator is connected to the engine via two tubes. One is top side, another one is bottom side. Observe this diagram. Here, arrow marks indicates the direction of flow of cooling water inside the engine and the radiator. A fan is connected backside of the radiator. It is rotated with the help of engine power. Whenever the engine operates, because of the reciprocating motion of the piston inside the engine cylinder, high heat will be produced around the engine cylinders. The High heat will be absorbed by this cooling water and it becomes high temperature. Hot water is pumped to the engine radiator. Inside the engine radiator, heat transfer will be takes place between the hot water and the surrounding flowing air. Whenever the fan rotates, it draws the atmospheric air over the radiator tubes. That high temperature, hot water discharges it heats to the surrounding air and it becomes cold water that again cold water is supplied to the inside the engine cylinder in this way cooling is provided inside the engine internal combustion engines observe the graphical image of the cooling system of an ic engine observe the another graphical image of the ic engine cooling system boiling and condensation are also known as convective mode of heat transfer but change of phase Boiling means conversion of liquid phase to vapor phase. Condensation means change of phase from vapor to liquid phase. Observe this diagram. Here, water is converted into steam, nothing but vapor phase. Observe this diagram. Here, cooling bottle is placed on a table. Water vapor in the atmosphere is condensed to liquid state. That is about boiling and condensation. Thank you guys. Thank you for your patience listening. If this video is worthy for you, click the like button, subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. Thank you.